Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And this one, I'm just giving you guys my top uh, things I want to see added slash changed to Clash of Clans uh, in the year 2018. It's a little bit of a late video, I guess, because typically uh, you do these videos right when it becomes 2018. So I guess I'm about a month late in that regard. But these are just things I want to see added to the game at some point. And um, I haven't done one of these videos in a while, so I thought I might get it out there for you guys. I think I wrote down six things I want to see, uh, but be sure to let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below, and I'll do my best to respond to those, because I, I enjoy seeing what other players want to see as well. Um, okay, that being said, let's get right into it here. Got some nice background attacks from War and Glory uh, War. The first thing I want to see, this is in no particular order, is a buff to multi-infernos. I think we are quickly seeing single infernos be the main type of inferno. It's not as much dominated uh, single infernos as multi infernos once were. We still see multi infernos on Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 bases occasionally. Uh, you guys can let me know if that's the same thing you see in your clans because sometimes it's different for different types of clans. But from what I've seen, pretty much. 90% of Town Hall 10s and 11s are using both single infernos. So I think just a little bit more DPS will bring the multi-inferno back into the game. Uh, that way you can't just heal your troops through it, um, or you can, but it just makes it more difficult. So I think I'd like to see a buff there to the multi-inferno, just a little bit of a buff, make it do some more damage. Okay, um, Actually, because if you think about it, just thought came to my mind, it only does about as much damage as like a level like 6 Archer Tower or something. It does not do much damage. It's like a Wizard Tower almost, except it doesn't do splash damage. Well, I guess it does. It has 5 targets, but still, not doing a lot of damage is the point. Um, okay, so that thought is, uh, that's my first thing I'd like to see. Next thing, and this one might surprise some of you guys, is because it's not a war thing, but customizable heroes... I've been saying this, if you're a long-time subscriber, um, I've been saying this for a long time, so you guys probably have heard me say this before, if you've been watching my videos for a while, and I want to see something that just lets you enjoy what you've upgraded, what you've been spending a lot of time working on, and it's, it's not any type of functional thing, it's just customizable looks for your heroes. I think it would be cool to choose what color the, like the cape of your queen is, what color your king's accessories are, and um, some people might think this is kind of stupid, but I think it's just another way to kind of enjoy what you've been working very hard on, and it makes it look cool during your attacks, and you can kind of uh, have more of a personal relationship with your heroes, if that's not weird. Uh, so I just like to see something like that. Doesn't have to be heroes. Could be um, some kind of s signature on your spells when you drop them. That just shows that um, maybe th like you unlock it as your heroes, you know, do more stuff in multiplayer war and um, as they you know get more buildings destroyed, they get to have um, like a the a higher level belt, almost like karate or something. So I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, that's something I'd like to see if it's not a huge uh, difficulty to add if it's too hard You know just go ahead and focus on balancing war, but if it's a nice easy thing to add. Yeah, why not? I'd like to see that. Okay uh, moving on to the next one uh, We have in-depth game statistics so Oftentimes I go on to the clash wiki. I think it's called to clash of clans wiki to look up some stats I think they should give more information about the damage, the uh, mainly damage of troops and damage of defenses. It's often in DPS, but that's per second. Sometimes it's much more helpful to know per like attack per shot. So like, what does one bowler throw do? How much damage is that? What does uh, one shot from a wizard do? These types of things would be helpful because if they don't attack every second exactly, it's not going to be the same as their DPS. So I think adding that to the game will kind of encourage people to look at their attacks, plan them out in a more systematic, very uh, methodical way, and encourage very um, 
high level attacks, precise attacks, which I think everyone wants to see in war. It's just, it's a little bit difficult right now because you don't have the in-game resources to see um, how much damage is the, uh, let's say, one cannon shot or one wizard tower shot going to do. These are answers I don't even know. Um, I think they have actually more information in Clash Royale. They have damage per shot and DPS, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, so it is something that I think they have done before in, in Clash Royale. But um, it'd be nice to see in Clash of Clans. That way you can see, you know, what does one P.E.K.K.A. shot do? That, meaning, is it worth it to bring the P.E.K.K.A.? Will it take this out? Stuff like that. And uh, that would be something that... It's probably pretty easy to add in game. You just have like a little icon on the on the troop. You can get more in depth statistics than just the uh, the basic stuff it gives you. Specifically, that damage per shot. I think that would be a very helpful thing to know. And I believe they have it on the wiki page typically. Or if you know the uh, how often it attacks, you can do some math and find out the damage per shot. But it could be information that would be a lot easier to get. And that's kind of what I'm stressing here. Um, okay. Number four, I think this one is, I'd like to see Town Hall 9 get the level 12 Archer Towers. Now, Town Hall 9, I think it's it's okay. It's still a fun Town Hall level from what I see, from what I hear. But I think it could be a little bit better and um, it could be a little more balanced. Now, I can only speak for the wars I see. I'm sure there's a lot of clans out there that think Town Hall 9 is just the right balance, possibly even too hard. Um, but I think, you know, typically it should be the higher end of the community that has the biggest voice because, a little bit self-serving to say this, but, you know, they're spending a lot of time on the game in the highest levels where everyone's striving to get to, or at least a lot of people um, are striving to get to, get to, to achieve. And I think that's where the best balance should be typically is towards the higher level. So I'd like to see Town Hall 9 have those level 12 archer towers. Those would just be an all-around way to defend against uh, pretty much any attack. It'll defend against ground a little better. It'll defend against air a little bit better. Um, as you guys know, Town Hall 10 has two archer tower upgrades. So if that was implemented, you'd just upgrade to Town Hall 10, then only have one archer tower upgrade to go through before your archer towers are maxed out. So I think that would be cool. Um, some Town Hall 9s might disagree with me, and maybe some would agree with me, but um, I think it wouldn't make it that much more difficult. It would just add some DPS and make it a little more difficult. Now, it might kind of take out the balance between cannons and archer towers that exists at most Town Hall levels by making the archer towers more powerful than the cannons in terms of DPS, but I don't think that's a big deal, and I think that's just fine if the archer towers were a little bit more valuable because um, base building will adjust accordingly and it should kind of figure itself out. So that's, I think, something that would just help balance everything out, make Town Hall 9 a little more interesting, especially in the, in the CWL Wars. You won't have a ton of scouts, um, or at least not as many scouts, hopefully, left up. Um, so that way you get more fresh attacks, more interesting stuff at the higher levels, and at Town Hall 9, of course, um, just because the attacks would be di more difficult to pull off. Okay, number uh, five, call it here. Um, this one, yeah, I think they've already kind of did this like uh, a few months ago, maybe more than a few months ago, is a P.E.K.K.A. buff. I think the P.E.K.K.A. is not really being used. I see it occasionally in uh, like hog attacks put in the kill squad. And uh, maybe it's because the single, oh look, I got some CC troops. Uh, it's because the single infernos are are much more used and they often can lock onto the P.E.K.K.A.s and uh, I think that um, has even made P.E.K.K.A.s used even less. So I think a small buff to P.E.K.K.A.s, either DPS or hit points, I'm not sure which one would be better, maybe hit points, um, it, then we might, we might see it used in place of a Golem in some situations. It wouldn't have anywhere near the amount of hit points as a Golem still, but it might make it interesting to see if you can use a P.E.K.K.A. in some creative ways. So that would apply maybe to Town Hall 9. I'd be a little bit uh, reserved with Town Hall 9. You don't want to make anything else too powerful. Uh, but I'd say more focused Town Hall 10 and 11. The, uh, not, I forget what level P.E.K.K.A.s you have. I think you have level 5 at Town Hall 10, and you might have level 6 at Town Hall 11. Uh, I... I think there might be level 6 P.E.K.K.A. 
Yeah, I think I think there is. Uh, yeah, um, but it's it's not used. So I think a small buff uh, would be very very worth it. Um, and kind of in that same uh, thought in terms of buffing and nerfing uh, free spells, I think they have kind of fallen behind a little bit too. We used to see people freezing in Inferno on most hog attacks and on a lot of 10 v 11 attacks. You would just try to freeze the Inferno nearby defenses, heroes, CC troops, and that would be a nice valuable thing to do. Now we um, we very, very rarely see that heal spell being used just because there's no point. You can just heal through it. So the freeze spell is kind of like a less effective way to heal your troops. You just take the damage off them, but you know giant bombs can still go off and uh, they don't actually get healed back up. The damage just goes off them for a while. Um, so I think it would be a good way to um, bring it back, bring back more options. Now you can freeze you know, a big part of the base for longer. That might make it worth it to do in some very high DPS zones on the base. Just something to think about. Um, so those are my six guys. Just to summarize, a multi-inferno buff, customizable hero skins, something along those lines, more in-depth stats in, uh, in the game regarding DPS and uh, specifically damage per hit for troops and defenses. Town Hall 9, I'd like to see the level 12 Archer Towers drop down and accessible at that Town Hall level. Um, some kind of P.E.K.K.A. buff maybe in the, uh, the hit points it has. And finally, a free spell buff um, in the amount of time it lasts for. So thank you guys for watching. That'll do it. As I said uh, earlier, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll check those out. But let's hope we uh, get some of these, or maybe you guys will hope we don't get some of these. Uh, but I definitely will hope for all six of these in 2018. And we'll just kind of have to wait and see what Supercell rolls out this year. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.